Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Datasphere training on YouTube with me Anubhav. In our last episode, we talked about the importance of creating a analytical model in Datasphere. We've also learned how to add a calculated measure into the same. In our today's episode, we will learn how to consume SAP Datasphere analytical models in SAP Analytics Cloud as a live model to update the data and build the dashboard. If you like this video series, please hit the like button and share this video with your fellow colleagues in the WhatsApp, Snapchat groups so that your colleagues can also take advantage of this free data sphere training with us on Anubhav Trainings. For detailed training and in-depth knowledge on data sphere, please feel free to visit us on anubhavtrainings.com for a end-to-end -end training on SAP data sphere. So let's get started today's episode. So you always as a consultant start with story. So this again, I would like to say this is not analytic cloud training. You would not do, uh, we will not go deep dive inside analytic cloud, but I'll show you some of the just core features which you can use to just experience your models which you build to understand how they will be consumed. In general, as a consultant, I would request you to subscribe our analytic cloud course along with data sphere course. Both the trainings combiningly makes you an full stack uh, expert on building both data insights as well as exposing your content out from the cloud with the data sphere. So we'll start with a canvas page and I will always use optimized design experience because that's the one which we can use with the data sphere directly. Click on create. And now we have different widgets to choose how we can build our objects. So we have a story so how exactly it is structured is we usually have something called a story or a dashboard inside the story we can have pages so you see this is a page you can add more pages one is to start inside the page you can have widgets so you can have multiple widgets there are different variety of widgets to choose like chart table the most common ones, geomap, yeah, button, text, filter controls, input controls, measure input controls, yes, conditional formatting, multiple options to choose from when you build your stories. So now we have got a default page created. Let's rename this to the sales analytics. <clears throat> Edit the title. And then we can just add a chart. So what is my requirement? My business requirement is to utilize the sales order data which we created in the data sphere and show the total sales per per partner. Yeah. So let's do that. So you can just come down and search for the connection. This was the one which we created in the last episode. And this is our space. We go inside. Wow, there you go, there you go, your analytic model and you can see this icon indicates the live model guys, live model, the moment data change in SAP data sphere, it will automatically reflect back here in the story immediately, immediately, wow, wow, let's choose that. And it's low code, no code environment, no coding experience required here to build your data analytics. Now, wow, voila, there you are, there you are. You can see it's giving me a prompt. Prompt for what? Remember, we've added here a variable for partner ID. And that's exactly what is exposed here as a, as a prompt. Fantastic, fantastic. Cool. So now I can give if I want the data values it's also giving a value help that's fantastic or i can just say cancel and then i can add my dimensions and measures so i would want to show total gross sales by the partner id wow superb anubhav superb awesome anubhav cool zero coding experience and now Maybe you can go back and say, show me the total top 10 values apply. 
only top 10 partners I want to see. Wow, that's the total sales from top 10 partners. Fantastic. Now, what you got to do is you can save this, first of all. And let's create a folder structure properly in Analytics Cloud. That's a best practice. So we can call it as Anubhav Trainings. That's my main folder. Inside that main folder, I will switch over back and create another folder called Dashboards or Stories. And then inside, I can just save my story as Sales Dashboard. Click on OK. The Sales Dashboard story gets created. Fantastic. Now, our next step is to just go for View. So let's view Current tab, New tab. Yeah. You can view here current tab. This is the data. Now look at this button here called prompt. Remember we created a filter where we can we can filter the data based on partner ID. Yes, that's what we can do. Yes. So let's go ahead and use that option. And I can use this filter and it opens the same prompt. And I can now choose my partner IDs for certain partners to view the data for. So I will use partner 13. Yes. So you can choose your partner. So I can use 13. And I can give a range basically. So I can just choose 13 to. I need to come back and give range. So I want data for partner. 13 okay to partner 22 so this filter will be injected over the network it will be sent to data sphere and then data sphere will return only the live data for this range it will not transfer the humongous data to the analytics cloud click on set and you see it is doing the filtering. So this filtering of data is done deep into the data sphere. It only transfers the relevant data to you. All right. So thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP data sphere. As usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on SAP data sphere, SAP analytics cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubautrainings.com. Also, shoot us an email on contact at anubautrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, Anubhav signing out. Once again, thank you so much, and I will see you in my next episode.